The topic, Tanner Muse. The question, what will he bring to the Raiders defense? Let's just get into it. I kind of feel like this is a draft selection that's largely flown under the radar, and I'm not entirely sure why. I mean, I, I get it. He's been overshadowed by Isaiah Simmons, uh, but as a whole, I think there's a lot of talent uh, for Muse, and I also think that getting him as a linebacker, you know, he kind of is sort of similar in Simmons in the fact that he can play linebacker and safety, but I do think that in the NFL, him being a linebacker is a lot better than him being a safety. However, having that versatility, it certainly does help. And I think he'll actually be very good at um, pretty much every facet of the game as a linebacker. Uh, one of those could be shown on this play, where he's going to be uh, rushing the passer on this one. It's going to be play action that Syracuse is running. So, you know, as you see, a halfback is running. Uh, he's basically going to be running right into Muse. And so basically, he's just going to try and, you know, block him once he finishes the play action. Uh, that's what he's going to try to do on this play. And so the quarterback takes the snap, uh, he starts going back, fakes the handoff, and you look at Muse, again, it's, you know, so Muse clearly has someone who's going to try and block him. There is a halfback in the area. And while, you know, if you want to argue that he's a safety, I mean, he's 6'2 and 230 pounds, so uh, even as a linebacker, uh, this is going to be a difficult block for the halfback to make. Uh, and as you see, what Muse is going to do is, I think this is very interesting, what Muse is going to do is, he's not going to just try and run him over, even though he does have the size advantage. Uh, again, you know, kind of smaller for a linebacker, uh, but not really in college. In the NFL, it'll be a little small for a linebacker, uh, but definitely big for a safety. Uh, but anyways, uh, what he's going to do is he's not going to worry about trying to just run him over. Watch how it kind of sidesteps, runs around, and is still able to reach around and make a play. I mean, just just a good uh, tackle right there. And I do think that he can uh, sort of take those good angles, make those good reads uh, in the moment. I mean, so, you know, doing that is fantastic on its own. But when you add on to the fact that he ran a 4.41 40-yard dash uh, at the combine, uh, yeah, I mean, this guy's, you know, freak athlete, but on top of it, you know, very similar to Simmons and that the freak athlete type. Again, there are some flaws in Muse's game. Uh, I can get into that in a second, but I just like what he can do. Like on a play like this, um, you see that there's a defense graphic on the screen. That's just because it was on the screen uh, at the time of this. But uh, basically, this is going to be a running play, uh, and there's going to be a couple blocks on the defensive line. Nobody's really moving up to that second level. So a linebacker is actually going to kind of take a poor angle. He's going to run straight in. Uh, not really a poor angle. That's kind of what he's supposed to do. But uh, because of this, it now means that Muse now has to get to the edge. So he's going to have to run in if this is a running play and try and make a quick tackle. And watch how quickly he runs in and makes this play. He not only is able to make this play, but he gets it before the halfback gets to the, uh, to the line of scrimmage, even though he was originally lined up about nine yards past that. So, again, just a very quick play, good read, and he got there quickly. So that's kind of the, the one-two punch, I think, for Muse, is that he can make those reads quickly, and then he's just so fast he can get there quickly. I think a lot of people say that they have a problem with Muse's uh, coverage skills. Uh, I, I think I agree with that. I think that he does sometimes try to go for interceptions too much. He uh, will bite too early. But I think I'll be, him being a linebacker uh, does help. And also, you know, he will get those interceptions. Like a play like this, uh, the way it's going to work for Wake Forest is that, uh, you know, it's cover two zone that Clemson is in. And for Wake Forest, this is the great uh, play against this type of concept where one receiver is faking as though it's going to be a screen pass so he just takes a couple of steps out uh, and then basically the other two receivers are going to stagger uh, how quickly they go so they're both running deep but one receiver's job is to just push the safety who's in that area further deep while the other one can then run underneath and get open that way and once this ball is snapped this play works out I'm going to uh, switch to a different angle this will show it better uh, but you see that, you know, okay, so the the yellow circle, uh, that's a player, that's a Wake Forest player who could absolutely, you know, he's absolutely open right here. But again, you look at the black circle, that's Muse. He sees what's going on. And even though he is a safety, uh, he's, again, partially why this worked out so well is because uh, everyone in Wake Forest was lined up so far to that side of the field that uh, you can now have Muse and line up closer. So he was kind of lined up at the hash marks on the left side of the screen, even though, uh, you know, he's technically supposed to be covering the right side of the field. But he also does a good job, again, of making this read quickly. And so he's going to try and break in, and he is able to break in and make this interception. Uh, just a, a, a very good, 
Quick read again, like I say, quick read, and then gets over there quickly. Clearly, the Raiders wanted to put some emphasis on improving their linebacking core, and I do think that Muse is someone who can really help with that. Uh, one thing I like about him is a play like this, where uh, so there's going to be two offensive linemen who are going to be blocking the two Clemson defensive linemen. That makes sense, obviously. And Muse on this play, he's going to be just running straight through. He, if it's a running play, he's going to try and run straight in between those two offensive linemen. However, there is a problem with this. Wake Forest is running the ball, but they're running the ball to the bottom of the screen, which is in the complete opposite direction of where Muse is. So usually when you do this, it can kind of take you out of the play. But again, that's discounting Muse's speed. Watch how he shoots that gap so quickly and is able to reach over and make that tackle. It's not an easy play to make. It really isn't. But he doesn't just make those. He makes those consistently. And so when you have someone on your roster who right now looks like he's going to be their number three linebacker who can consistently make those plays, that's very good news. One other thing he can do really well is blitz, and this is going to be a good example of it, where uh, there's a bit to talk about on this play, some I don't even have on this, the screen. Uh, basically, uh, the main thing you'd want to take a look at is that there's going to be two players who are in the middle of the field who will be blitzing, a linebacker and Simmons. There's also going to be another linebacker blitzing and a defensive lineman dropping back into coverage, but that's not really important. Don't worry about that. Uh, you also see on the screen that there is uh, a halfback who can block, so he can pick up one of those blitzers, but obviously he can't pick them both up, meaning that for Muse, who is the one in the white circle, who is further away, he's going to get there second meaning that the back is going to pick up the linebacker, and now Muse is going to be the one who has the straight shot to try and get in and make a play. And that's going to be exactly what he does. Again, it comes down to speed, and watch how he just gets there quick enough that he can make that quick tackle. Uh, and you have to imagine that Las Vegas, they will find some ways to use him to their advantage. I really think they will be able to. It's interesting, because I do kind of feel like the Raiders, in a lot of ways, are kind of this old-school style of team. They do have a, sort of an old-school style of play on both offense and defense, but they're going out and they're getting guys who are versatile and guys who I would consider very new-school approach type of guys in Muse, uh, also the Lynn Bowden pick on offense. So clearly, they're not just you know stuck in the past necessarily. They think that there's some good uh, that comes in those systems, so they're sticking with them, but at the same time, they're finding players who can do more than that. And I love having Muse as your as a third linebacker because, you know, let's just say you put three linebackers out there uh, because you think it's going to be a running play, but then they go, you know, go four wide or something. So now you think it's going to be a passing play. Well, no problem. Now you can just have, you know, Muse can still be a coverage player uh, a lot better than most linebackers. So there's a lot of value there, I think. Uh, but that's just what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What is your thought of this pick? I really like it, but want to know what you guys think. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.